Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, weighing in at possibly the greatest TCG set ever created, we have Hidden Fates. And in the red corner, a challenger, a newcomer, weighing in and out of stock, absolutely everywhere, we have Shining Fates. Yo guys, welcome back to Estates Pokemon. Today's a video that I'm absolutely buzzing to make. We're doing a little pack battle between Hidden Fates and Shiny Fates. We're gonna have four packs of each. Let's see which we, which set we get the best pulls from. Hopefully we get the Charizard from both of them. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and leave a like for what's gonna be an awesome video. We'll start with a pack of Hidden Fates. The cold coffee is so excited to be filming this video. I've been waiting for Shining Fates for a long time. I haven't opened much in Fates. Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, a Reverse Hollow Clefairy, and a regular wreck of Fable. So I dare say that the first Hidden Fates pack probably wasn't the best. We'll go on to the newbie, the new boy on the block, Hidden Fates 2.0. I've been watching a few people open this and the pull rates have looked pretty good. So we're gonna go for the Water Energy, Rotom, Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Nickit, Grookey, Yanma, Morpeko, Chewtle, Oh, we've got a baby shiny Sinistee. I think the baby shinies look sick, by the way. And a hollow frost moth. So the first pack of shiny fates definitely, definitely beats the first pack of hidden fates. Full jump. Oh, I've got no sleeves ready. There's the hollow. So we've got one shiny so far out of two packs, which is really the sort of Pokemon that you want to hit. We all want the shinies. Me and the shiny Charizard, but we'll take a shiny Sinistee in the first pack. And I want a, a Mew pack from Hidden Fates. There's a cold card. We'll go for a Fire Energy. Fighting. Giovanni's Exile. Koga's Trap. Alternate Sage's Strategy. Ekans. Paris. Cappy, Charmander, Clefairy. <laughs> Get in, lads, that's what I'm talking about. A full art shiny from Hidden Fates, a Buzzwall GX. And what's behind that? An Arbok regular rare. So we'll chuck this in the sleeve. So in the second pack of Hidden Fates, we get a Buzzwall GX shiny. What Shining Fates got to say about that one then? These sets are just so sick because it's just pull after pull after pull. The Shiny Vault sets, I think, are the cream of the crop. We'll go for a Fire Energy, Metal, Thwacket, Floatzel, Tropius, Shinx, Coffin, Horset, Grookey, Morpeko. More Peko Reverse, and there's a Rude. So, just as I was talking about how many hits you get, we get, we get a pretty dead pack. We have a Mewtwo from Hidden Fates now. Let me know in the comments, guys, which one of your sets is, is which one of the sets is your favorite? Hidden Fates or Shining Fates? We'll go for a Dark Energy, oh, Metal, Brock's Grip, Chansey, Graveler, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, a Reverse Hollow Eevee, and a Brock's Training Holographic. At the minute, I would say Hidden Fates is just pushing the pack battle with that full art buzzwall. But. 
shiny face has got a packing hand. It's got a packing hand. And here it is. There's a code card. I'm gonna go for a water energy. Oh, darkness. Rusted Shield. Elder Goss. Dartrix. Boozle. Nickit. Cacnea. Qfant. Eevee. Reverse Hollow Cacnea. And a more Peko V Max. Not a shiny, but we'll take that all day long. It's a beautiful looking card. So we've got one pack left of shiny fates and one pack left of hidden fates. Pulled so far, we've got three from shiny fates and two from hidden fates, but I still think that Buzzwall GX nudges hidden fates in the lead in the pack battle. And now we have the big man. The final pack of hidden fates. The penultimate pack of the video. There's a code card. And we're going to go for a fire energy. Fairy energy. Shout out Randolph. Jinx. Misty Determination. Brock's Pewter City Gym. Cubone. Magikarp. Geodude. The Fairy. Eevee. I think the next one's a reverse. Are we going to get another shiny? Reverse Hollow Sabrina Suggestion and a wheezing regular rare. So Hidden Fates flopped out on the final pack. And the final pack of the video, we have a Dragapult pack artwork from Shining Fates. These are the only Shining Fates I actually managed to get my hands on. Hopefully I'll get some more in the next couple of days, but I only managed to get four packs on release day. So... There's a code card. I go for a fighting energy. Oh, that's a, smashed it on the last one. Smashed it on the last one. Look, see how ball guy. There's a full art ball guy that I think looks sick. And that's the card I want to pull. Tropius. You guys can keep the Charizard. I want the ball guy. Spinarak. Rowlet. Marpeco. Nick it. Reverse Hollow Dartrix. In a holographic feeble. So all together I'd say that they're both pretty average. No serious pulls. But I would say that Hidden Fates tips it with the full art shiny. So the pulls from Hidden Fates are Brox Training Holographic and Buzzworld GX shiny. Shining Fates with a Holographic Feevil, a Morpeko VMAX, a Holographic Frozmoth, and a Baby Shiny Sinisty. Let me know in the comment section who you thought won the battle, Hidden Fates or Shining Fates. I'd like to thank everyone that's hit subscribe. I'm just over 70, 70 subscribers now, which is insane considering. Maybe this time last week we were doing a 30 subscriber giveaway. So thanks for the support, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.